Jordan Peterson is in a crisis. He's in a crisis uh, because all of the good arguments he receives come from anonymous account, and somehow Jordan Peterson is he's going extremely emotional. Uh, and Tull Tide was pointing out this ridiculous survey that he's now hosting because for he has spent every day for the last two weeks whining about anonymous posting trying to have it removed from social media and now he's telling everyone to spray paint over a cctv camera he says is it time to start spray painting the lenses of our ubiquitous cctv cameras jordan that's terrorism like people were getting banned a year ago for calling for the destruction of 5g towers and stuff like this and here we have a Canadian intellectual suggesting uh, private justice against CCTV cameras. Uh, and his crowd is voting now before it's too late. Jordan is calling for a revolution. Will he get banned from social media? Because I had friends banned for less than this. He says they've backed off a little, but most of the totalitarian infrastructure remains in place. Despite dear Klaus Schwab claim, the CCP is no model for the rest of the world. So Jordan, uh, I mean, benzos will do this to a brain. Uh, he, he is off his benzos and he, he veers between calling anonymous people on the internet rats. And yet saying, hey, we have to preserve our anonymity. CCTV cameras are too common. Let's do some uh, random revolutionary justice here. That seems weird. Can't Jordan understand that the internet, uh, where, where people can be anonymous if you let them, if you, don't, if you don't go too aggressively at them, if you don't try to dox them, doesn't he understand that the very anonymity that he's complaining about in, on the internet is the same fundamental right of the anonymity when you walk on the streets and when someone films you with a, with a private CCTV camera? I dropped my pen. I'll be back. <coughs> Doubting Thomas says, is he genuinely against CCTV cameras? or perhaps trying to make a point in a sarcastic manner. I mean, clearly he's trying to uh, connect with the recent wave of anti-Chinese Communist Party propaganda from the center right, because they don't have much talking points. These poor people cannot talk about race, cannot talk about Jewish power. So it's like, they don't have much left. And one thing that they really like is complain against the Chinese Communist Party. Like the Chinese Communist Party in my list of priorities in terms of who hurts me and who attacks my liberties, the Chinese Communist Party is out there. There are so many more concerns that are relevant. So anyone who who be, like, like I've seen Steve Bannon and his gang do, anyone who pushes so much for an obsession around the Chinese Communist Party is uh, driving your attention away from America's current problems, current political problem. And look at Jordan, he's losing his fucking mind because he's getting so much pushback from anonymous accounts. Uh, here he's responding on YouTube. So someone was making a decent argument he was saying Netanyahu's main philosophy of the entitlement for Israel is based on the inherent superiority of the Jewish people. He repeatedly describes the lands around Jerusalem as barren wastelands. A similar philosophy to my ancestors who declared Australia empty a few hundred years back and thought of the inhabitants as having no entitlement to the land they lived on due to their perceived primitive culture. Netanyahu's view of ancient philosophy, uh, of ancient history, also elevates the Jewish people as the most important instead of equivalent to a wide range of people and cultures of that time. Lastly, this is not an interview. This is Jordan Peterson asking pre-approved questions to Netanyahu and letting him speak without any critique whatsoever.
that is a, that is a decent argument. I mean, this is something that wasn't called out by Jordan in his interview with Netanyahu. And so absolutely decent pushback here. What is Jordan's answer? You are utterly pathetic. You have no idea what you're talking about, and your mask of anonymity is true indication of your cowardice. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Turn off the comments if you don't want comments. But if you respond to a decent comment like this with an ad hominem, you don't want comments, so turn them off so that we can all see what you are, Jordan. You are a man who is using the excuse of anonymity not to engage with a decent point. I could defend every sig single word of this comment above. I could take that position in a debate against Jordan tomorrow, after tomorrow, in two days, whenever. My name is Jean-François Garriépi. I'm not anonymous. I'm a Canadian citizen. I can give my phone number to Jordan Peterson if he wants to verify. Someone else says, this interview is a good example of when your employer forces you to, de to do undesirable tasks to keep your job. <laughs> Jordan Peterson's employer being, of course, of course, uh, Netanyahu here. He responds, you are an utterly pathetic, anonymous, derisive troll with all the courage your anonymity requires. I'm not anonymous, Jordan. You want to talk about these things? You, wanna, you want me to take the obnoxious Swedes position? I think it's a very decent metaphor with what happened in Australia, with what happens in any case of colonialism. Aren't you willing to discuss colonialism with a non-anonymous Canadian intellectual? I'm available, Jordan, anytime. Anytime I'll go on your show. I don't ask for anything other than talking with you. Uh, and I, I will give you all the rights. I don't have to stream on my own channel. I'm available. I will skip a night of my own show to talk to you, Jordan. Uh, by the way, th this, this discussion could help, could be helped if I get unbanned from Twitter soon. Somehow I'm having waves of hope because Roger Stone just got uh, unbanned. And Roger Stone has severe brain issues. I mean, he's divagating, he's, uh, he's talking nonsense constantly. If Roger Stone gets unbanned, I don't see why I wouldn't. So Roger Stone unbanned today. Beautiful news. That would allow me to tell directly to Jordan Peterson rather than ask you guys to make clips of my request to him. I could be on my Twitter account and tweeting directly to Jordan. And what would he say then? What would he say since he can't say that I'm an anonymous troll? By the way, anonymous troll is an ad hominem. It's not because you know nothing at the person that it's not an ad hominem to uh, attack him on the only thing you know about them, which is that they're anonymous. Uh, Jordan Peterson is continuing his meltdown on Twitter. Someone was saying on, on Gab, Jack Fell says, Jordan Peterson makes the case for why a shielded minority should not have the ability to subversively influence the majority and advocates for apartheid and expulsion. Now, when read in that way, when you just change what Jordan Peterson is saying about anonymous people and you you veer that toward other people who benefit from other forms of anonymity, it becomes quite interesting. He says, this exposes us all to the radically polarizing influence of a small percentage of truly bad, lulls-seeking dementors, the true danger of virtualization. I am attempting to draw attention to this, not because I find anonymous, cowardly troll demons infuriating, although I do, but because the unrestrained or even rewarded proliferation of psychopathic behavior undermines trust and social stability, as has always been the case. Think for a second, why would we mix the trolls in with the real people? Think about what that enables. Oh, oh boy, Jordan. Jordan. Jordan is becoming red-pilled as we dig through these... Uh, through these Twitter, to these tweets. 
think about what that enables. I didn't say they should be banned. I said they should be separated from verified people. Jordan Peterson arguing for a for a virtual balkanization, a virtual apartheid, because they're poisoning the landscape of public discourse and polarizing the social world. That's why, really. Because someone was saying, why can't you simply ignore trolls? Trolls can be trolls while being public. Have you ever been to a high school? Uh, wow, Jordan Peterson establishing modern gulags. And a very clever meme that I think represents what I've been trying to tell Jordan in the last few days. What about this form of anonymity? You know, actors who change the foreign provenance of their name. Uh, real name, John Stewart Lebowitz. Stage name, John Stewart. And you have here the little uh, Jordan Peterson YouTube comment, another coward hiding behind his anonymity, pathetic. Uh, real name, Michael Jan Schwartz. Stage name, Michael Jan Black. There's a trend here. They don't change for any arbitrary name. It's from foreign names to American names. Michael Jan Black. Another coward hiding behind his anonymity, pathetic. Jonah Feldstein, stage name, Jonah Hill. Another coward hiding behind his anonymity, pathetic. Real name, Jacob Rodney Cohen, stage name, Rodney Dangerfield. Another coward hiding behind his anonymity, pathetic. Wow, Jordan Peterson is becoming fully woke on important questions as it relates to identity and projections of fake identities. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.